So this week at Spectrum, we have a couple gags to show you guys. There's a lot more that we've done, but we can't quite show you just yet. Once the shows come out, we'll be able to show you. But for this week, we're only going to be able to show you a little bit. This week, we are doing a ATM gag. We're going to have an ATM and it's going to shoot out a bunch of money. Uh, we have a hatchet getting thrown into the tire and we're gonna sell the effect of it going in some dust. Um, and then we have a blood beating gag, very vicious, the blood spray and selling the hatchet into the tire. Um, those are things that we kinda have done a lot before and we have in our shop pre-built already. So we're kinda, kinda just plug and play those systems in and then do the gags. Our ATM gag's definitely gonna be a little bit more of a custom build though. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. Sweet. So, what we got today, guys, is we got an ATM dropped off to us, and our job is to make it spit out money. In a lot of ATM machines, bills, you know, would actually come and sit like that, as to where, if you know, most of them just shoot the money out like this. Otherwise, we would have just used a money gun. That was idea one, but it just wouldn't work coming out sideways. In the scene, there's gonna be a car that's flipped over. One of the actors is gonna throw a hatchet and it's gonna fly through the air and stick into the tire. But what will happen is they're filming the guy and they're filming him and he throws the ax and they hurry up and quick pan over. Boom, doing, doing, doing. here's the ax stuck in the, in the tire. We're gonna use some RC parts for the ATM rig. Uh, reason we're using RC parts is they're pretty readily available, they're easy to get, and they're very effective. But this is pretty much what we're gonna make for the inside of the gag. So this one is just like an on-off, but the one that we'll have will be able to reverse, and you can just turn it slow. You very, see how it's, I can get very precise. Ours will need to have to where you turn it down, you can control speed and reverse polarity because once you reverse polarity, the motor will spin the opposite way. So in case we need it to, for some reason it gets jammed and we need it to go backwards, we'll be able to do that. We want to think about everything when we go on set so that we're not left going, well, we didn't think about this at the shop. The RC drive shafts are not going to work. I mean, the wheels will work great. The motors will work great. These literally just, shatter that's when we realized that it has to be a little bit more bomb proof and ready for the, our needs beefy yeah. Yeah. we're actually going to cut a hole in the back of the tire at this point so we can get a piece of tubing right by the back of the, the axe cut and then we'll have some air plumb to it so we can actually pressurize a little bit of air behind the hatchet where it's cut into the tire and push a little bit of dust outward and it kind of sells an impact. On the day it'll require a little more work but not much because cutting a hole in a tire is not a huge ordeal. It's fairly simple but that's pretty much the gag. Every time he hits it you fill it in a little bit more because I'm going to give it a, a blast of air, just a short one, to simulate the blood splattering out yeah, of the skull. Get, I'm probably going to get bloody as shit right here, but I am yeah. rolling. Ready. ready. Whenever you're ready. Right. <laughs> it tastes like cherry. That works pretty good. This is the reservoir for the blood, which one person pumps in. The black hose supplies air at about 30 psi, and then I hit the air to eject the blood out. And that's about all I have to say about that. Alright, so for the blood test video, we went ahead and sent it in. They didn't uh, like the viscosity of the blood, it was a little bit too thin. So we're going to go ahead and send them another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. So, for this one, uh, so for this one, for the blood that we're gonna use, 
So for this one, we're gonna use a sponge so we can pistol whip into the head and hopefully the sponge will allow blood to travel onto the grip and kind of run down the arm as well as give a little bit of a splat effect. I am ready. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Nicely done, Josie. Thank you. We got the launch ramp. And we're getting our box pretty, pretty together. But uh, how the money goes up, it's a very uh, specific tension that we need. Pressing on the money onto the wheels to shoot it out properly. What happens when you lose 20 grand? I usually feel bad about it. No, you got a lot less weight. Yeah. So now your yeah. counterweight. Absolutely. Is he, it's going to be pushing up even harder. So and then once it pushes up harder, it's going to start to spit it out even more, pushing the money harder into the wheel, giving you a crumple. This is what we're thinking we'll be able to use. Because with these bimbas, you can go just like in and out really quick, or you can just very slow. I think that's as slow as I can get that thing going. So we're looking for some remote parts and Brandon's going to wire up a wireless remote for our ATM gag so we can uh, play things remotely. Um, so a couple of the other fabricators, they went ahead and rigged up the system to lift a stack of money into these spinning wheels and I was in charge of making sure that that happens pretty smoothly. So what I did was I went ahead and made a control box. So there's just two motors, there's a linear actuator. And just a regular DC motor and I designed this controller right here uh, this turns on the wheels that spit out the money this controls the speed at which it spits out the money and then below we have the up and down so moving the bills into the wheel uh, and then moving it back down and then the speed at which it moves the money up and down so that gives us full adjustability on how much money and how fast the money is getting spit out. With the ATM, uh, we shot out about $2,000 worth of money. Uh, it's capable of doing way more than that. Um, but we got all the seals approval and all the gags. And I think uh, we're going to have a good week playing them on set. <laughs> um, do you have a good in a world voice? In a world. Yes. Yeah, do you wanna do you wanna do a voiceover for us? I can do that. Yeah. 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 I do it all the time to my wife. I'm like, in a world where you can do anything you want, you come to Spectrum and do anything you want, and then get yelled at, and then build it better. And then. <laughs> <laughs> In a world filled with hatred towards rubber, one man, one tire will take revenge. Actually, someone needs to say like and subscribe this video. Like and subscribe this video. <laughs> <laughs>